Once again, I'm glad to be before you on this Lord's Day. I didn't ask Jonathan to lead either of the songs that he's led before each of these talks, but they've kind of set up some of the, the points I would like to make. Being a friend of Jesus is not something that we really should turn on and off. We're a friend today, we're not a friend tomorrow, and we repeat that pattern. Well, yesterday, when we were on our way up to the Fall Fellowship in Huntsville, we drove by a church house, and they had a marquee sign out front. And on that sign, it said, Back to school, back to faith, back to growth. I find that disturbing. Especially considering whose sign it was. Supposedly a Church of Christ meets there. But extremely liberal. In fact, that congregation is what prompted the existence or establishment of Fish Hatcher Road. But either way, that was their marquee sign. That's what it said. Back to school, back to faith back to growth as if Christianity is seasonal because school starts sometimes I guess depending on where you are August sometimes September and then it ends in May sometimes June is that the type of faith many people have absolutely is it the faith of those members in that building probably if they even possess faith at this point. The fish hatchery has been alive and well for, I'd say, 30 or 40 years. Maybe not that long. And they, fish, uh, Huntsville Church of Christ has been in error for at least that long. But Christianity is not seasonal. It doesn't begin whenever the kids go to school and now we finally, we don't have to keep up with them anymore because summer's over. We don't have to keep them entertained. They're now the public school's problem. But then now our faith can start. Now we can begin growing. That's not the type of faith you can read about in your New Testament. Hebrews 11 verse 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of things not seen the idea of substance specifically in this verse is that undergirding strength faith is the support system for things hoped for the support system the evidence of things not seen if you go out here and look at this overpass the support beams holding that small bridge up. Or if you go over these old uh, bridges for railroads, they cross a river, and it's got all these different support beams. You see lots of triangles, because that's a very strong geometric shape. Those forms, those beams, hold up that bridge. Can you imagine if an engineer built these support structures and they only work half the time I'm not talking about the roads those work half the time but the support structures underneath and they gave way for half the year but they were still strong for the other half I think we'd have some things to say about that I think we'd actually be upset about those things can the same be said about our faith can we, does it supply strength for half a year, but not the other half? Part of having a strong faith is continuously growing. We've, we tried to start a garden at the house, and it grew for a while. 
and then the deer ate most of everything. I have a very disappointed boy because all of our watermelons, save for three, were eaten by a deer. Even the vines. We had close to 20 of them. And they got gobbled up by Bambi. Those, those gardens are seasonal. Faith should not be. Had the deer not, not eaten those vines for the watermelon, guess what would still be growing today? Those black diamond watermelons. Same with our okra and our tomatoes and our squash. Supply the proper nutrients and this garden's going to grow. Supply the proper nutrients and the Christian will grow. It's not seasonal. To some it is, but if we're truly going to be a friend of Jesus, as we sang about moments ago, we have to have the faith discussed in Hebrews 11. We have plenty of examples of those who had strong faith. Let's read the rest of the chapter. Follow after their example. Look to Jesus. Look at his faith. He knew he had to die the horrible death that he did. But he did it anyway. Why? Because it was the Father's will. We have it very easy in this country. Though it's not getting as easy anymore. Because of certain laws and individuals are becoming more and more vi uh, militant against Christianity. Against religion in general. But that doesn't mean we have, we're allowed to slack off in our faith. Doesn't mean that we can choose to stop growing. When you see a plant that stops growing, it usually starts getting wilted, turns yellow. It's not functioning like it normally is and the way God designed it to. It's very similar to how Christians are when they stop growing. They they turn wilted. You don't see them as much anymore. Perhaps they're not in worship assemblies, they're not in fellowship gatherings and eventually they just kind of move along that's not the type of growth that's not the type of faith that God expects us to have while the kids go back to school that doesn't mean that's when our faith is expected to start nor is it when our growth is, is expected to start in Romans 12, 1 and 2, it says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Do you get the idea that this occurs on August 15th and maybe a couple days after that? No, service is a continuous process. We're supposed to perform our reasonable duty in serving God every day that we draw breath. Verse 2, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The proving doesn't happen one time. The proving must occur every day of our lives. Not only to ourselves, but to those around us who are not Christians. They need to know this same word, this gospel, that is able to transform them. So our faith must not be seasonal. Christianity is not seasonal. However... Some have taken that approach. Some have allowed sin in their lives. Some have engaged in it in a habitual sense. If this is the case for you, why not put that away today? Be restored as a faithful child of God. If you're not a Christian, why not? Why not obey the gospel? Be baptized for the mission of your sins and begin life anew. If either of these apply to you, 
Make it known as together we stand and sing.